Alright, so in this short video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how I personally export my meshes into Roblox Studio and turn them into accessories. So let's just start. First up, we're going to be creating a brand new rig, an R15 rig. In this case, I'm going to be using the blocky rig right here. So once you've created the rig, all you want to do is head over to the properties and then of course adjust the origin position. In this case, for the 1.0 rig, it's going to be 0, 3, 0. So it's perfectly centered and everything is going to work out after that. There we go. So now we adjusted the origin position. Last but not least, of course, what you want to do is head over to the file explorer, right click the dummy, export selection, and then of course export it to wherever you want to save it, of course. And now let's head over to Blender. Alright, so now we're in Blender, of course. The first thing you want to do is import the character we just exported from Roblox Studio. So let's just do that really quickly. And there we go, we now imported the character. So let's just move our item out of the way. And let's say it's going to be located somewhere else. Let's say it's like located um, right over here. It's rotated by, I don't know, 75 degrees. And now, of course, we want to adjust it. So first things first, what do you want to do with the character? We want to turn off the back face right here, just so we can see which direction it's facing. Next up, what do you want to do? It's very important. You want to rotate it by 180 degrees. For some bizarre reason, it's uh, rotated to the wrong direction in Blender, so you just want to switch it around, and now it's facing the correct way. Next up, of course, what do you want to do is adjust your accessory. First up, if you have some very bizarre rotation values, you might be able to reset them right here, so let's just do that really quickly. There we go, now it's facing definitely the correct way. One way to instantly align it perfectly right here is um, just select set origin, set origin to 3D cursor, then of course next up set origin geometry to origin, and last but not least what we have to do is actually move up the item and then adjust it so it's matching perfectly with the rig right here, there we go, let's move it a little bit forward so it's no longer actually facing through there. And there we go, this looks perfectly fine now and I think we're good to go. So we adjusted our item now, it's matching perfectly with the R15 rig right here and now we can actually delete the rig, so there we go. So last step of course, in Blender we just want to export our item, in this case you can export it as a wavefront OBJ, which is what I personally do, or you can also export it as an FBX, but with the FBX file you have to take care of the scale, I believe it's 0.01 or something like that, so I personally just use um, wavefront OBJ because you kind of save the trouble with adjusting the scale. I think there might be some benefits with FBX files, but I'm not really sure about that, so it's really up to you which one you prefer using. Now, of course, we're just going to export it as a wavefront OBJ, there we go. And of course, all we have to do now is head over to Roblox Studio and turn it into an accessory. Alright, so we're back in Roblox Studio. First things first, they want to use once again one of the pre-installed plugins with Roblox Studio, the Mesh Importer right here. And then of course, you just want to import your accessory, which you just exported from Blender. There we go, let's just hit import, and it's just going to load in. Now, why do we make the extra steps with the character? It's very simple, you can now instantly snap it to the character if the character is of course centered. So, as you can see right here, the character is at 0, 3, 0 in the origin position. So, what you want to do is select your accessory, then of course, type in the origin position 0 0 0 and then it's going to snap into place so this is really simple to be honest. Next up of course you want to use one of the plugins which you can find on the creator marketplace the asset creator right here you want to select accessory select your item select the character select what type of accessory it is select classic click next and then of course you already finished creating your accessory so now last but not least we're going to get a brand new dummy right here take your accessory um, that we just created and put it into the brand new dummy right here now of course last but not least we can actually add the texture um, so let's head over to the mesh right here I've already uploaded it so we can just use the asset ID right here and there we go now we're done. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave some comments down below and I'll try to reply of course and maybe help out if there are some issues. Thanks for watching and see you next time bye guys.